Today's lesson is on simplifying complex fractions. A complex fraction is a fraction that contains another fraction within the numerator and or denominator. Here are a few steps for simplifying. First, simplify the numerator and or denominator if possible. Then, rewrite the main fraction bar as division. Next, you're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So you know how you take the division and turn it into multiplication and you flip that second fraction? That's what you're doing on step three. For step four, you're going to simplify and reduce if necessary. Let's go ahead and give this a try. For example one, first of all, I look at the numerator. There's nothing I can do to simplify that. Same with the denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this with the division sign. And I'm going to go ahead and factor the denominator while I'm at it. So let's see if I do a quick diamond. That'll be x plus 10, x minus 3. And now I'm going to divide. As you get enough practice, you'll probably skip this step right here. Now I'm going to rewrite and let's see i actually wanted that to be in a different color so i'm going to go ahead and make that a different color so that that stands out a little different okay let's go ahead and flip that second fraction now it's multiplication And notice that I flipped right there. You can never flip the first fraction. You only flip that second one. Mush it together. And then you're going to go ahead and start slashing. Um, what else can I do? Oh, 2 goes into 8 four times. And I think that's all I can do. So I'm left with 4x on top and x plus 10 on the bottom. Because of that addition, I cannot cancel those x's. I'm done. If you were asked for restrictions, then you would go through the problem and see what makes all the denominators zero. But here, we're not gonna worry about that. Example two, I'm gonna have to simplify that denominator. Okay, so for the numerator, I'm good. Now for that denominator, I'm going to make my common denominator x times x minus 2. So now I need an x minus 2 for this fraction. And I need an x top and bottom for this fraction. Notice we have our common denominator. So now I have x plus, this is 3x, uh, 3 times x minus 2. I'm going to go ahead and distribute that, and I get 3x minus 6. So I'm going to go ahead, rewrite this with the division symbol. Also, I'm going to combine the like terms here. So that's 4x minus 6, x times x minus 2 on the bottom. Now I'm going to flip that fraction, the second fraction that is. And remember, lots of parentheses are always helpful. Oh, wait a minute. I can... Um, Factor that right there. I didn't notice that. And don't forget, we're flipping. So when I factor that, I can take a 2 out and I get 2x minus 3. You always want to simplify as much as possible 
That way you don't miss your reducing um, the things that can be reduced. So now I'm going to start slashing. Yep. And two goes into six three times. Let's see. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think my final answer is 3x over 2x minus 3. So this big juicy fraction simplified all the way down. Alrighty, and our last example. Hmm, this doesn't look like a complex fraction at first glance, but remember, negative exponents mean reciprocal. And you have to be careful with a complex fraction. So in the numerator, that's going to become 1 over 5x squared. See, it's in parentheses, so the negative 2 applies to the 5 and the x. However, it doesn't go down there with the denominator. And the reason we can't do that is because of this plus sign in the middle. Now, be extra careful. This negative 1 only applies to the x. The 4 is not in parentheses. Um, so the 4 is going to still be in the numerator. And then I have x to the first power that becomes uh, the denominator of that second part of the numerator. Now, I guess I should not have written this down here because we have x to the negative fourth power. So I'm going to make that a reciprocal. Before I can continue on, I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to distribute my square, and I get 25x squared here. So now I need to add those fractions before I proceed. So before I can add, I need to get common denominators. Let's see, I think a good common denominator would be 25x squared. So on this fraction, I'm going to multiply by 25x, top and bottom. So for this fraction, I'm good. And yep. 25x squared. So in the numerator, I have 1 plus 100x. And in the denominator, 5 over x to the fourth power. Now I'm going to rewrite this with the division sign. And no way should I add the 1 and the 100. These are not like terms. As well, I cannot divide that 25 into the 100 because of this pesky addition sign here. So this is division. And now I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. And if you like, you can put that in parentheses. And the x to the fourth goes up top and 5 on the bottom. So now let's see what reducing can be done. Um, right here, I can subtract exponents. So I'm going to get x squared in the numerator. And so... It appears that my final answer is 1 plus 100x times x squared. I like x squared out here. Over 25 times 5 is 125. I don't see anything else that I can do to that fraction. Mm, 
Nope. Don't think.